Hi Floss Tube. This is Rolanda Stitching Addict here with you today and I'm sorry my video is a little bit late but I was volunteering this weekend at uh, my church and we just finished today and um, for the day and had lunch. Now it's time to do stitchy stuff. Um, drink of the day is Um, iced tea. This is the brewed iced tea and I'm using my Hello Darkness My Old Friend Sounds of Silence mug because everything else is in the dishwasher. It's clean. I just haven't emptied it yet. Anyway, so how's everybody been? Um, it's been a busy week for me, work-wise and otherwise, mainly work-wise. Um, and it's a long weekend here, so I actually have the day off tomorrow, which is really nice because I have a lot to do. And I also want to sleep in. Um, I haven't had a chance to do that yet this weekend. Anywho... Um, yeah, so let's get on to stitching. I've been, I'll show you, I'll start with my whips and then we will move on to my finishes. Um, whoop, sorry, my scissors are still on there. I pulled out Spring Queen again. So I'm working on her. I'm in the insanely heavy confetti part here. Um, I have to frog, but then again, when don't we? So yeah, there's there's a section here that I have to frog. I think it's here. Anyway, so I'll be doing that and then continuing on with my stitching. Um, yeah, so that's that's what I've been working on the last couple of days. And um, as most of you know, I'm a pretty monogamous stitcher, so um, I have one whip until it either annoys me or there's a frogging issue or it just isn't speaking to me anymore and then I move on. Um, but the one that I've been working on the most is now a finish. I'm so excited. Um, <clears throat> Mm, frog in my throat. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, so I have a finish to share. Excuse the pajama bottoms. I didn't really... I came home and the first thing I do is I change out of my other pants and put on pajama bottoms because they're just so much more comfortable. <laughs> and there's nobody around to care. So... Here is my finish. Let's see. There we go. Uh, the fabric is 32 count. I want to say Jobelin? Lugana something? I don't know. Anyway, it's from Hand Up by Rolanda on Etsy. I'll link her below. Um, but she only does one-offs. She doesn't do multiples of the same color. So this is... Um, she's called Lilith of Labrador, the actual pattern, but I have renamed mine Lillian simply because I do not like the meaning of the name Lilith. So, and I did a conversion on her with the beads and treasures and things. Um, I used Swarovski crystals and, um, Delica beads. Uh, the only ones that are the actual called for, let's see if I can even show you, let's see here, um, are these guys right here. Those are the only ones that are actually called for. Everything else is a conversion. Um, I did use the called for silks. So I did use what was requested. So anyway, that one is done. 
So I will hopefully be able to frame her soon right now. Ugh. Life is nuts and beginning in September, it's going to get even nutser or nuttier. I don't know. My dad and I, we do craft sales. Um, my other, well, I have two other hobbies, I guess. Uh, one is my dad and I, we do wood turning and we make pens, keychains, uh, needle cases, um, seam rippers, needle threaders. Basically, we make anything that you can make out of wood. So we do that. And we haven't had any craft sales this year yet, simply because of the current world situation. Um, so we are very much looking forward to starting that back up again. Um, our first show is the 5th of September. Um, and then after that, it just snowballs into craziness and every weekend and all kinds of goodies like that. So we will, my videos may become a little bit more sporadic um, due to that, um, but you still have some time. They're mostly on Saturdays. We only have one that's actually on a Sunday. So hopefully that won't affect things too much, but that's life. Um, yeah, so now it's on to haul. Yay! Um, I have been doing much better about not spending so much money. Um, at least not on cross-stitch stuff. Now my money is going to furniture because I now live in my house again and when I moved out the last time when I got sick, I had to get rid of most of my furniture, sell it on a, at a garage sale, and now I'm starting from scratch again. So yeah, that is what it is. So first thing, as some of you may have, may remember, I've been uh, collecting the Lavender and Lace Seasonal Angels. Here, let me pull this this out. There we go. And I now have Winter Angel. I had Ice Angel last time and now I have Winter Angel. So now I have all the seasons and so now comes the fun job of kidding them up. Um, most of them are I got from Stash Unload or Canadian Cross Stitch Only Buy and Sell. So I'm really pumped about getting that. Um, and this still went to my old address, which is my parents' address, so no big deal. They just delivered it to me yesterday. But I got, this is again another one from a stash unload site. Um, Canadian buy and sell, I believe. Anyway, the whole bunch of treasures, and I still have to go through them and pair them with the correct, um, with the correct projects, but yeah, I'm pretty pumped about that. And two more, two more things. <clears throat> My addiction for Mirabilia continues, as most of you know. Um, I'm a little bit of a, I, I, I like my mirrors. So I got these again from Canada, Cross Stitch Buy and Sell. I got Stargazer. And Queen of Peace. This one is an out of print. Stargazer is not, but Queen of Peace is an out of print. And you can't even find it on eBay or anything. Um, so I'm very happy to have her because she is the companion piece to Queen of Freedom. And so that'll be gorgeous to hang that one up um, with... Uh, Lady of the Flag, Queen of Freedom, Canadian Beauty. That one is not a Mirabilia. That is a Joan Elliott, um, which I have started. And 
Queen of Peace having that kind of as a thing. I'm also working on a conversion of Portrait of Victoria. I'm changing her from the dark greens to the to be reds for Canadian. So that one would be hanging up with these ones as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, had a few health issues, nothing too serious. I'm on antibiotics and for an infection, but otherwise pretty good. Um, there will be, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I know that it'll be later this month. Um, I'm slated to go in for surgery. Uh, it's just an outpatient procedure, but, um, I won't be able to stitch for at least two weeks. Um, I have a ganglion on my wrist and they're going to cut that out because it popped up overnight. And so they figured they'll, the surgeon figures she'll just take it out and be done. Um, yeah. Other than that, it's been nice and warm here for the better part of the last while. It's summer here in Canada, finally. Um, had a couple of good thunderstorms, etc. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't really have much else to share. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything for me, feel free to ask. I'm more than willing to help and yeah, I think I will pop in a movie and start stitching. Uh, just have a great Sunday afternoon. All right, everybody have a great week and we will talk to you again soon.